Hey YouTubians, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gary of VW Jawbreaker and today we're gonna get back to work on that Baja. Remember the last time we took it out for a drive, right? First test drive, went really good. Had a couple minor issues. One of those being the pushrod tubes were leaking. I looked into it a little further. It was not the pushrod tube seals, but the actual pushrod tubes themselves. So there's two ways we can deal with that. One, we can put some spring loaded pushrod tubes in there. You don't have to pull the heads. Option two, slide the heads off a little bit, put some stock pushrod tubes in there. I put a poll up on YouTube. There's 155 of you guys that voted and only five of you said you really didn't care to see the process. So for the other 150 of you, we got some pushrod tubes we're gonna go ahead and throw in. So these are regular stock steel. They're not the real nice ones or anything. Um, I paint them. The reason I paint them is to keep them from rusting. I know you could spend extra and get the stainless steel tubes. However, it wasn't an option here locally. So I just picked up what they had. I had red paint, we've got red accents. Screw it, good enough, right? Now, when you go to put the pushrod tubes in, you always want the seam up. Well, if you paint them, how are you supposed to see the seam? Well, if you look, you can still see the seam right there on top. Or, look inside right there, you can see the seam. There you go. So, let's go ahead and get the Baja pulled around back in the garage. We'll show you how we install some pushrod tubes. All right, Baja is in. And my helper is out here. He finally woke up, had some breakfast. So in order to do the pushrod tubes, right? Because of course, you know, they're down here at the bottom. Head, they're pinched in there. So what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and take the cage off to make it a little easier. Uh, it's a couple bolts. Um, normally you would need to pull the exhaust. However, with this style header, I should be able to just pull the collector and it loosen up enough. But you need to pull your carburetor, fan shroud, intake manifolds. Um, of course, with the fan shroud, your alternator or generator is gonna come off with that. The reason you need to do that is you need to be able to get your head tins off because you got four bolts on the top side. So once we get the top end kind of stripped down, we'll bring you back and we will show you from there what's next. A wonderful assistant, <laughs> the hard working man he is, uh, is working on the intake. Once the intake is off, we'll go ahead and pull the head tins off, and then we'll be ready to start working on pulling. It's easy, right? It's not too bad. Easier in a Baja, of course. If this was in your regular car, you'd actually be pulling the engine first before doing this, but we've got plenty of room. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You would also typically want to pull your exhaust, but again, by me pulling the collector here, I don't have to pull the exhaust off the heads. So we'll go ahead and work on getting that intake pulled. All right, so got everything stripped down. We got the head tins off, intake off. We got our intake ports plugged with some paper towels so we don't drop anything down it. Everything's situated there. Now we're, needs to go down. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to go ahead and start pulling the valve frame. So we've got... So it's down here? Yep, that's fine. Now we need to go ahead and pull. There's two nuts. We pull those two nuts right there. Then we can take the rocker assembly off. It should be coming off easier than that. I told you, super glue. All right, put the nut and the washer in the... You can put it in the in there too, either way. It's all one. Yeah. And then I put thread locker on there or something, so... Probably. All right, grab the back one. Loosen! Loosen the back one! You said grab it, I did. <laughs> grab it, ha 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 ha. All right, now that should be able to come off straight. So grab both sides. You're gonna have to pull from like both sides. Duh, that's what you just said. Or the very mm -hmm. ends, whichever. Yep. No? Okay. So why don't you just let me do that in the first place? Well, that's more fun to watch a struggle and learn. Okay. It is learning. It's learning how to cheat. All right, lay that down in the valve cover. Uh, in the valve cover. In the valve oh. cover. In the valve cover. There's the valve cover. Okay, pull out your four push rod tubes. Lay those in the valve cover. Where? Where are you putting them? In the valve cover. In the valve cover. There we go. As it slides out. Well, you gotta, they're longer than that, so you gotta put one in. There you go. Ah. Now I gotta clean them. You got them all dirty. Well, well, what? Well, okay. You kid. All right. Well, you know what? You've helped build several engines. Have I? Yes, you have. Oh. So what? What would we need to do next? We got the push rods out. We got the valve cover or the valve cover off. We got the rockers off. What's next, Levi? Could you yank them out. You could, but what else? Take the head off. That's right. So we have, what, 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 where's the nuts and bolts? What do we need to do? Do you not have eyes? I have eyes. You tell me, genius. Boom, boom, boom. So there's the four up top. Where the hell the other one is. Yep. And boom. then you got the four down there. That's why you take the rocker off. Yeah. Plus you can't take the tubes off with the rockers on there and the push rods. We do not need to pull the exhaust because of how the exhaust is. But you're right. Normally, in order to slide the head out, you would need to take the exhaust off the engine so i am right yes but no uh -huh. you're good good job bud all right so we'll go ahead and uh get reset up here and we'll get to work what happened you hit yourself i need your big blood muscles uh i only have one arm for that good luck yeah all right you're old i hope okay. ah. can't really see me so where's your call for the best here I was going to do that, but I wasn't sure if I could. Yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. So we don't have to fully pull the head. Well, looks like none of the head studs pulled, so that's good. We don't need that where we're going. I was really expecting some of the head studs to spin, but they didn't, so I'm happy. That's a good thing. Yes, yes it is. All right, so now we yoink these out. Yeah, you can. Oh. All right, so where was the, did you take the back one out already, number three? Uh, yeah, I took all of them out. Yeah, definitely some rust on them. Some pit holes, yeah, see there's all kinds of pitted right there. Yep, lots of pinholes in that one. All right, so now we'll go ahead and clean those receptacles up. And one thing I like to do with new push rods is I like to take a socket and I'll take one end and I will kind of expand it out just a tad, right? Not by much. I just wanna take a socket. Oh, my paint's cracking. Oh no! And just expand it just a little bit. I mean, all in all, you might have just expanded it, I mean, maybe eighth inch. You're not taking much. So we'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up. We've got the new push rods, new push rod tube seals, and we'll get ready to start installing. Yeah. 
All right, so we got our four push rod tubes. We've got these seals put on them, so they're good to go. So again, remember your seam and the push rod tube needs to go up. So what I did is I just kind of put a little black line on there to help. Little guy here, kind of, I guess you're not so little. How tall are you now? Four nine. No, you're not. No way. <laughs> All right, so one thing, some people like to put them in dry, some people put them in wet, some people seal them. We're gonna put just a smidge amount of oil on the seal. Used oil. And then they just push into place. What we're gonna do to help hold them up, put a push rod in there to just to help kind of keep them held up for now. So, carry on, sir. Fine. What are you doing? I'm waiting on you. Waiting on me for what? I don't know. All right, you want me to lube them? Sure. We'll use clean oil. Yay. I say, if, if there's any left in there. Oh, there's some left. It just takes a minute to get it going. I may need to slide it back just uh, a smidge. Back, stick it in, right? Yep. All right, just to help hold them in place for right now. Yeah. Lube it. Lube it real good. And also make sure you're trying to get those marks up. I think I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I did have this one. We can rotate it, but it helps if you kind of get it already that way. Stick in. Number four marks up. Good? Yep. Okay. All right, so, we're done. So now that we've got that there, what we can do is start working the head back on. And as we work it back on, we'll just fix the push rods kind of one at a time until we get it back where we need it. Over there. there we, actually, there we go. It's in. So we'll go ahead and put a washer and a nut up top here. Kind of help hold it. All right, we need to rotate those, make sure they're all seam up. Now, an easy way to realize or to see when the push rod, one easy way to realize or see if your push rod tube is up or not, the seam, is you can look in here and actually see the seam from the inside. So we'll go ahead and work on getting this, getting ready to torque. Oh my gosh, you don't want to start on the other side yet. Well, I kind of can't. Why? You got the oil pan. Oh, we should be done with that. I'm trying to get a stupid wire out of the way so I don't oil it. Oh yeah, that'd be nice, thank you. Well, it's not stupid, it's kind of important if it melts in our wire. You got it right there, the screwdriver. The what? The screwdriver's right there. What? Right there by your leg. Oh. I can't see it, my leg was in the leg. Suck at this. All right, now that we have the initial, we'll go ahead and run it up to the final spec torque and the final sequence.
All right, we'll run through that again, and this side will be done. Goodness gracious. Finish it, Dad. Huh? Finish it. Finish what? Great balls of fire. Jeez. Oh. Slow poke. It's a little, a little cold. How are you cold? I said, that's a little cold. You dripped sweat down my neck again. Oh, sorry. That's probably plenty of, uh, no, we need like a tad more. We need like a tad more. There you go. Fight them too much because you'll bend them. I'm not trying to. I know. Just reminding you. You want to torque these once I get them ready? Nah. Why? You can do it. Why? Mm -hmm. I still like torquing the nuts. Like torquing D's nuts. You don't want to torque? I'm going to do the valve adjustment now. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. I want to control before everything else back together. Alright, well. It's hotter than crap already, and that's why we started early. And it's only 10 o'clock now, and we're pretty much done. So we had some camera failure, so that's why it kind of stopped on you. But we've got the push rods in, push rod tube seals. We've got the heads back on, heads are torqued. Uh, we've got the rockers on, rockers are torqued. Now we just need to go ahead and set the valve lash, which I've got a video. You can check it out up there. It's done a long time ago, so please uh, pardon the wonderful quality. So from there, it's just a matter of reassembling the top, get all of our fan back on, exhaust, alternator, tins, all that jazz, and then we should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and set valve lash and go from there. What do you think? Taut. Taut. It has not cooled off at all. Holy cow. However, we have made progress. So we have everything back together. Everything's hooked up. The only thing left is the cage to put back on. But I figured let's go ahead and fire it up. Um, see how we did. We got the valves adjusted. Got everything hooked back up. 
set for the throttle cable. Yeah, I'm going to do the throttle cable real fast, and then we're going to go ahead and fire it up. Let's do that. There we go, much better. Throttle cable's hooked up. Everything's hooked up. Um, let's say we crank it and see how it does. May take a little bit of cranking because, you know, it's kind of throttle was kind of moving a lot, shooting gas in there. So we'll do, go do a cranky cranky and see how it fires. Neutral. Contact. Cage is on, thanks to Levi, because let me tell you what, this thing fought us like you would not believe. Absolutely fought us. But now we're almost done, and uh, we'll bring you back here in a few. But that is the gist of how to do push rod tubes. And again, you can see them under there, looking nice. There's some red accents here and there, so yeah, why not? Why not? Well, guys, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for sticking around. I hope this helps somebody. Again, it's not difficult. Just a matter of kind of taking your time, being patient, and you can get this done. Be kind to one another. Until the next time, guys, be good.